PS Wing Hatchet Review Part 2. Stay tuned to the end. I'm going to go over the information on how to get in on this on the giveaway. So let's get into it. Welcome back guys. It is me. It is I. It is Wes. I am with. I am from. I am Midgard Axe. What's up everybody? Hope you guys have uh, had a great week. I hope everybody's got out and enjoyed this, what I like to call the first week of summer. Um, I know that I have been out and I have been throwing a lot lately. Um, you guys can see in some of the videos I've posted, I've been doing all kinds of stuff. So I'm trying to be a little versatile with my information. Um, so I hope everybody's enjoying it. So stick, stick around to the end of the video. Um, I'm going to give details on the free giveaway that I'm doing with this ax. And I'm also going to go over uh, the next ax I'm going to review. So you guys will get a sneak peek on that. So stick around, wait to the end. I'm going to go over all the details on that. So get it into the S-Wing. Now this is part two. If you haven't seen part one, go back and check out part one. Um, I go over what my initial impressions are of this axe. This is kind of like a part two, well, not kind of, it is a part two on the changes that I've made, some things that I found, some things that I didn't realize when I first posted the video, and um, I'm going to share them with you. So uh, basically, what we ended up doing to this axe is I'll go over the changes that I made. Of course, you'll see this down here. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, it's a little funky, but um it's actually kind of cool so i did it anyway it's it's uh it's a it's like a grip tape um the reason why i went with this is because uh and i'll roll some video in in here now um when i took the rubber grip off of here i realized that underneath the handle which i already had a suspicion but um when i took the rubber grip off uh underneath is basically the exact same diameter as is this handle is up here okay so when you take this off you have this to work with now i could have gone and got my welder out and welded some uh metal in there to kind of round it off i thought that was a little bit much for a 40 dollar axe um so if you guys want to get something like this and you want to go in and weld in some rounded pieces around here to get that more of a like an oval uh contour for your hand more power to you. I just, I, I, I didn't think I needed to do that. So I went with um, this grip tape that I put on here. It's like cushiony and um, it's not nearly as sticky as the original grip that comes on this and it's not nearly as bulky. So it really gave me a streamline. Now I do have a, a kind of an odd angle on this. It is oval shaped, but you can feel those ridges like on here, just a, just a hair, but it really didn't bother me that much throwing it. Um, I actually, like I said before, guys, I enjoy this ax. So, um, if you, and I'll roll some more video in here of me throwing. I mean, there was times where I was standing with one rotation, hitting bullseyes. Uh, and then I would go back and do maybe like a double rotation or even a triple rotation, um, with the original grip that I had put on this. If you guys noticed in some of the throwing videos, I did try to use leather on here. Um, it didn't really like my hand pulling on it. It kept coming off and it just wasn't going to work. And I really didn't want to spend a ton of time on a $40 axe going through all that. So this was a safe alternative um, and it's worked really well. I've thrown it a bunch and it's, it's, it's worked out great. So one thing I noticed that I didn't post in the first video, I did have some edge rollover uh, on the bit up here and I didn't notice it until I started throwing. Um, after I had done modifications, when I went to go throw, I noticed I had edge rollover. And if you remember in my first video, I said, this was a very, very narrow bit profile. I mean, it came, I mean, it was super narrow. So I was surprised when I was throwing it, I wasn't getting edge rollover. But then after I started throwing it more, I did end up getting edge rollover at the top. Um, it wasn't anything really bad, but it was, it was there. So um, I went in and I uh, reprofiled the edge and gave it what I like to give on my axes. Um, I gave it a little bit better of a profile. If you guys can see down here at the bottom, I redid the uh, profile as well on the edge to make it somewhat even. I didn't spend a ton of time on it, guys, but um, I did reprofile it. And, and when you see in the video, 
um, I actually got it shaving sharp. So you can get the shaving sharp. And I will be honest with you uh, with this, guys. Um, it, it has, the, the edge is held up very well. It hasn't dulled at all. And I used a file to get my profile. And then after that, I came back with a Japanese whetstone, which is how I like to sharpen all my axes. After that, it was shaving sharp. Um, now, some of my videos I'm going to post in the future will show how I get my edges really shiny. But if you guys notice on a lot of my throwing axes I make in videos, I don't, I don't polish a lot of my edges in my throwing videos just because it, it'll sink a little deeper with the, with the, with the polish. But it's just it's a lot of work to make the edge really shiny just to go outside and throw. So I didn't do that on this one. Um, but uh, I did take a Japanese whetstone to it. And I did use my leather strop. I do like stropping my edges. Um, some people say that they make them sharper. Um, I really use it for edge refinement. I like to refine my edge with a leather strop. Uh, whether it makes it sharper or not, that's kind of a debate. But it does refine the edge and kind of push it back into the direction that I want it to get it, you know, straight. Um, so that's what I like to use leather strops. And it'll, it'll polish the edge just a little bit. So... Um, I, I always like using leather straps. Um, so yeah, after that, um, I threw it a bunch. As you can see, I've got a lot of the bullseye paint all over the edges, all over the back on the pole. Um, I'll, especially on this side. I don't know why it's more on the left than the right, but yeah, um, especially on this side. But uh, the edge has held. And uh, it, guys, for 40 bucks, like I said before in the last video, for $40, if you wanted to buy this as kind of like a, all around throwing axe if you want to just go outside and throw or you have people coming over and you don't want them breaking your wooden handled axes you can give them this this thing has worked extremely well i've been very accurate with it um other than the handle uh, being an issue which i was able to to overcome um the bit could be a little bit longer but um i, I had a really good time throwing it uh, it was just it did what i wanted it to do um it was accurate uh, I was accurate with it. Um, I didn't have a bunch of issues. Um, once I changed out the grip throwing for distance, um, it just, it worked out. So if you're in the market for, um, an ax that is cheap, that is pretty indestructible that you can let anyone throw, um, that will get you progressing forward. Yeah. I say go with it. If you don't mind, if you, some of you may not mind that rubber grip that comes on it and that's great. Um, I, to me, it was too bulky. Um, and it had a really, really big toe on the knob that was hitting my hand a lot. And with it being rubber, it was even worse. So uh, with this the way it is, I really enjoy it. Uh, I really enjoyed um, working with this axe and throwing it. Uh, I had a good time with it. So now you're probably asking, Wes, how do we win this? Okay, so here's how you win it. First, you got to be subscribed to me. Second, I need you to go down in this video into the comment section and write axe. That is your entry, one per person, to get in on the giveaway on this. It is coming to you exactly the way it is. I'm not doing anything else to it. It's going to come to you just like this. If you want to do anything else to it, you can, but I'm sending it to you guys just like I left it, okay? And um, I'm going to let it run for about probably five days. Yeah, I'll run, let it run five days, okay? Once it's posted, it'll run for five days from the time it's posted for five days after that. Then at the end, I'll use a random number generator and I will pick the winner and announce it on another video. OK, so five days. Get in on this. Subscribe to me. Comment axe. And that's how you get in on winning this. And now a little sneak peek on the next axe I'm going to do. We are doing the still. Hatchet. Wooden handled. Ash. Can't wait to make the video for you guys on this one. This one's going to be fun. It's a wooden handled one. Um, so it's not going to be as indestructible as this, but, uh, I'm looking forward to this. Look at the size of this freaking handle. Good gosh. Look how thick that thing is. So yeah, I can't wait to get into this with you guys, throw it around, see what it has to offer, make some changes to it and do another giveaway. But, uh, I appreciate your guys' time. I appreciate all the support I'm getting. Um, stick around. I'm going to do a bunch of different videos in the future, different things, different ideas will come up. I'll remember different things, but until then guys, See ya.